I, for one, personally will admit I don't try to fall into the draft hype personally. I just kind of think, you know, us as NFL fans, we're starving after the Super Bowl. From We have the longest offseason, so it's like, ah, we need some football. A lot of the drafts don't pan out if you look at 2016 or 2017. Whether they're dealing with, like, key injuries, a lot of those players have already been traded and they're on different teams or they've already been labeled bust. It's fun to follow the hype and be like, oh, here we go. But, like, the reality is if I was ever a manager or anything, I'd definitely try to go get veteran experience, you know, and go pick up free agents. But that's just me. But for the fun of it, yeah, I'm gonna do my first mock draft, and this is who I think is gonna go top. Something that I do want to address too is this video will exclude Jalen Carter. Like, the truth is, dude's a top three, top four prospect in the whole draft, if not the number one defensive prospect next to Will Anderson. And so definitely he would be, like, going to Arizona or the Colts. Like, he's not falling out of the top five. But this list is, you know, excluding him just because of the situation. And, like, I don't know. I don't know who's going to pick him up. I don't, you know, that situation's just kind of messy. So I'm not, I'm not even going to talk about it. I'm not even going to address it. So my number one pick, I'm going to go with Bryce Young. Just the success that he had at Alabama being that close, but not really to win in the national championship against Georgia. He's an SEC champion. Is he NFL ready? Probably not, but that's what the point of training is. And getting ready to go um cj stroud i'll have him going to the texans you know that's been the big debate okay who's going one who's going two? the truth is they're both going into tough situations um cj stroud i think his blemish on why he's not the number one pick is definitely his record against michigan um and how he lost those two games and that cost him not to be able to go to the big 10 title he's not a big 10 champ the last Ohio State Buckeye that was a big chin champ with Justin Fields. Positive things to look at and why he's even, you know, this on this high in the list is I do think out of all the QBs, he probably is the most NFL ready. Like he's a Rose Bowl champ, so that's nothing to sleep on. And he was one field goal away from going to the national championship against Georgia. So, you know, if that kick isn't missed, he's playing TCU. And you know what? Honestly, I do think the Buckeyes could have beat TCU. And he could be a national champion. And he could be the number one overall pick, but I, for me now, he's my number two. My number three pick is going to be Will Anderson. This dude's been the top defensive prospect since 2021. If the Bears had kept the number one pick because how they got rid of Smith, I would have had him going number one overall to the Bears. Yeah, he, he's going to get off the board way quick in Arizona. They need a defensive guy after J.J. Watt retired, so I have him at three. The Colts are definitely in an interesting situation with regards to needing quarterbacks. They have Garner Minshew, Nick Foles, and Sam Ellinger. So for quarterbacks, like, I think they're fine for now. Like, I'd give it one year and then maybe next draft go get one. But I have them getting a weapon for Garner Minshew or Sam Ellinger or Nick Foles. I'm going to have them take the top tight end in this prospect, Michael Mayer. And I have him getting off the board way quick at pick number four. The dude was an animal at Notre Dame. This guy will not fall out of the top ten. Number five for the Hawks. Right here is where I would have Jalen Carter, if not a little bit sooner. They have Geno Smith, so it's like, do the Seahawks go get a quarterback? They got Geno, so let's work on the defense. I'm going to have them go get Maisie Smith. He was one of the key contributors in the reason why the defensive front for Michigan was successful the last two seasons. Number six for the Lions, I'll have them go get Quentin out of TCU. He definitely was a key contributor to them going to the national championship. The Raiders are in a unique situation too where they could go get a quarterback. A lot of teams could go get a quarterback, but they recently picked up Jimmy G. Jimmy G's fine. A lot of people like to hate on. He's the most disrespected quarterback. It might not be the flashiest, but the dude has had solid wins. I'll have them go get that big fella out of Ohio State Paris Johnson. The Falcons too, they like to go get flashy draft picks for, you know, weapons for the quarterback. But the production, you know, Kyle Pitts, Drake London, they haven't been as flashy as the Justin Jefferson or the Jamar Chase. And people could debate, well, is it because the quarterback sucks? Maybe. But I'll just have them follow that fun trend. I'll have them go get Jackson Smith and Jigba out of the Buckeyes. Uh, for the Bears who traded down, this pick's going to be a big pick and they'll talk about it because, oh, this is who their number one could have been or whatever. But because I'm a Penn State fan, I'm going to show them a little bit of love. There's no reason for them to go get a QB. They have Justin Fields. I'd give him another year or two. Joey Porter Jr. I know that's not who they're going to get, but just out of my own opinion. Super Bowl runner-up. So it's like, who can they go get? I mean, some guys came back, some guys left. Um, for the defense, 
I'll have them go get the two-time national championship, Kylie Ringo. The Titans with Taylor Lewan recently leaving, they're gonna have to go get an offensive guy. I'll have them pick the top prospect and Peter Skronsky out of Northwestern. He'll be my first lineman off the board. I have linebackers coming off the board. I'll have the Texans go get Henry Toto out of Alabama. And then I'll have the Jets go get Sewell out of Oregon. Patriots. I'll have them go get Anton Harrison. They already have two quarterbacks that need to figure it out. It's the lineman or defense. Okay, Packers. Honestly, it's become a joke at this point. I don't know who the Packers could go get. Last season, I said defensive guys out of Georgia and they got one guy. It, Dude, it's a lost cause. Like, should we go get a quarterback? Just as a fun jab, I said, you know what? Go get Dalton Kincaid. Why not? Just have everybody buzz on Twitter again. Oh, why, what? A tight end? So for Washington, I'll have them go get Miles Murphy. For the Steelers, legendary defense. They've always had a pretty solid unit. I'll have them go get Witherspoon out of Illinois. Then the Lions again with a, wait, what? why'd you draft him? Kind of pick. I'll have them go get Smith. The Buccaneers are in an interesting situation where they could go get a quarterback, but the truth is they already have Baker Mayfield. They already have Kyle Trask. Definitely need some offensive line help, so I'll have them go get Broderick Jones. Seahawks, I'll have them get Brian Brees out of Clemson. Uh, Chargers, I have them going and getting a weapon for Justin Herbert. I remember watching this guy a little bit with Kenny Pickett, but now Caleb Williams at USC. He's fun to watch. Jordan Addison. I would say jokingly have them, you know, panic and go draft Will Levis or another quarterback. But honestly, they have Huntley. They have Lamar Jackson, even though dudes requested a trade. I'll have them go get the defensive guy out of Iowa. Dude, the Vikings like the Packers. They don't historically pick well. I'll just have, that's not to discredit Christian Gonzalez. Yes, they could use some weapons for Trevor Lawrence. I don't know which wide receiver they could go get. And so I'll play it safe, have them go get a lineman in Dewan Jones. With these next few picks in the Giants, Cowboys, and Bills, this is where the most magic will happen for the running backs. I'll have them go get Robinson out of Texas and kind of have a one-two punch with Barkley and him. I, I think with the franchise tag, this is the beginning to the end. I think Barkley is going to get picked up and go somewhere else next offseason. Little bit of running back controversy, you know, heading into the 2023 season for the Giants. They recently let go of Zeke, so it's like, okay, we could go get we could go get a running back, but they also have Pollard. Keep Dak in check and kind of like, hey, come on, dude. Like, there's a reason why we've drafted you and we've extended you time and time again. Kind of like a prove it year for Dak Prescott to have a little bit of pressure. I'm going to have the Cowboys draft Max Duggan. And then for the Bills, they could also use a running back, but I'll just have them pick the safest DB on the board, have them go get Branch out of Alabama. And so I'll have them go get Darnell Washington out of Georgia. How fun would that be? Burrow to Washington, you know, like a Gronk Brady. That'd be really fun for Joe Burrow. This is a hot take. I definitely think Stetson Bennett is going late in the first round or early in the second round. A lot of people are sleeping on him. Stetson sit behind Derek Carr for a little bit and then take over and be a pretty solid QB like a Tony Romo or Philip Rivers where it's like, okay, we're not scared of him. He's definitely going to come to play. Eagles are set. They're already a pretty solid team as it is. And so I'll just have them go get another offensive lineman in Osiris from Florida. Then for the Chiefs, I mean, they're the defending champs, so they don't really need any picks, but because Juju left, they'll go get a receiver. And for a joke, I put Hyatt, you know, another weapon for Patrick Mahomes.